we are going to solve this problem. The problem number one is to find out the current in 4 ohm and 6 ohm resistances. And the second problem is to find out the thermonins equivalent voltage and thermonins equivalent resistance across the points P and Q. So we are going to solve the first problem. To solve the first problem, let us assume that current I is flowing in this way. There are two current sources present in this problem, 8 ampere current source and 16 ampere current source. This 8 ampere current source will maintain 8 ampere in this branch. This is 8 ampere. This will be 8 ampere. This 16 ampere current source will maintain 16 ampere in this branch. So we can write 16 ampere here and 16 ampere here. If you apply KCL at this node, you can say that current I minus 8 ampere will flow through the 4 ohm resistance. And if you apply KCL at this node, you can say that current I ampere will flow in this branch. Can you tell me the current flowing in this 3 ohm resistance? No current will flow in this 3 ohm resistance because there is open circuit. So the current through this 3 ohm resistance is 0 ampere. If you apply KCL at this node, you can say that current I ampere will flow in this branch. If you apply KCL at this node, you can say that I plus 16 ampere current will flow in this 6 ohm resistance. If you apply KCL at this node, you can say that I ampere current will flow in this branch. Can you tell me the current flowing in this branch? 0 ampere current will flow in this branch because there is open circuit. If you apply KCL at this node, you can say that current I will flow in this way. Now, to find the current I, I am going to use KVL in this loop. Let us say that this is point C. I am going to move in this way. So <clears throat> I can write the equation Vc minus I minus 8 into 4. Here I can write potential drop will be I plus 16 into 6. And from this negative plate to positive plate, the potential will increase by 16 volt. Again, there will be potential drop of I into 2. and this is point C. This VC and VC will be cancelled. This VC is the potential of point C. You can solve the equation in this way. minus 4i, minus 6i, minus 2i will be minus 12i and plus 32 minus 96 and 16 
माइनस थर्टी टू प्लस नाइन्टी सिक्स माइनस सिक्सटीन सो इट विल बी माइनस ट्वेल्व आई इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी एट एंड आई इक्वल्स टू माइनस फोर एम पी एर नाउ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द करेंट इन दोर ओम रेसिस्टेंस दिस इज फोर ओम रेसिस्टेंस करेंट फ्लोइंग इन दिस फोर ओम रेजिस्टेंस इज आई माइनस एट put the value of i the value of i is minus 4 and the current flowing in this 4 ohm resistance is minus 12 ampere can you tell me the current in 6 ohm resistance this is 6 ohm resistance current flowing in this 6 ohm resistance is equal to i plus 16 or you can say put the value of i minus 4 plus 16 and it will be 12 ampere so in this way we have solved problem number 1 problem number 1 is solved now i am going to solve problem number 2 in this problem number 2 we have to find out the thamnes equivalent voltage across point p and q and the thamnes equivalent resistance between point p and q to find out the thamnes equivalent voltage we will move from point p to point q i have already told you that the current flowing in 6 ohm resistance is 12 ampere there will be no current in 3 ohm and the current flowing in 4 ohm resistance is minus 4 ampere so if you move from point p to point q you will find out the value of thamnes equivalent voltage so the potential of point p is vp there will be no voltage drop across 3 ohm resistance so minus 0 and if you are crossing this resistance 6 ohm there will be a potential drop of 12 into 6 that is 72 volt and you have reached to point q the potential of point q is vq so vp minus vq equals to 72 volt so the thamnes equivalent voltage equals to 72 volt let us find out the thamnes equivalent resistance across the points p and q to find out the thamnes equivalent resistance we will deactivate all the independent sources the current source will be open circuited and the voltage source will be sorted so this battery will be sorted there will be a resistance of 2 ohm this is 4 ohm resistance this current source will become open circuited this is 6 ohm resistance this current source will be open circuited this is 3 ohm resistance this is point p and this one is point q we have to find out the equivalent resistance across the points p and q this 4 and 2 will be in series combination so the equivalent will be 6 ohm this is 6 ohm resistance this is 3 ohm resistance this 6 and 6 ohm resistance will be in parallel so the equivalent resistance will be 3 ohm this is 3 ohm the equivalent resistance across the points p and q will be 3 plus 3 equals to 6 ohm this will be the thamnes equivalent resistance across the points p and q so 
the Thevenin's equivalent circuit will be. This will be VTH and this is RTH. This Thevenin's equivalent resistance will be 6 ohm and the Thevenin's equivalent voltage will be 72 volt. So this is the answer of problem number 2. So in this way we have solved this problem. Let me discuss a very important point. To solve problem number 1 that is for finding the current in 4 ohm and 6 ohm resistances you cannot convert the current source into a voltage source. I have seen many students before solving the problem, before reading the problem, they will first convert the current source into a voltage source. If you, con if you convert the current source into a voltage source and then if you try to find out the current in 4 ohm and 6 ohm resistors, your answer will be wrong. So please do not try to convert the current source into a voltage source. Look at this. I have converted the current source into a voltage source. This current source can be converted into a voltage source in this way. Let us assume that current I will flow in this loop. You can apply KVL in this loop. So VC minus the voltage drop in this 4 ohm resistance that is minus 4i plus 32 minus 6i minus 96 plus 16 minus 2i equals to Vc. This Vc is the uh, potential at the point C and they will get cancelled and you can solve this equation and the value of current will be minus 4 ampere. So according to this solution the current in 4 ohm resistance will be minus 4 ampere and the current in 6 ohm resistance will be minus 4 ampere. So you cannot say that uh, the current in 4 ohm resistance is minus 4 ampere and the current in 6 ohm resistance will be minus 4 ampere. The solution will be wrong because this 4 ohm resistance and this 4 ohm resistance are not same. They are equivalent resistances. This 4 ohm is the equivalent of this circuit. So they are not same. This 6 ohm and this one, they are not same resistances. This 6 ohm is the equivalent resistance of this circuit. So they are not same. Remember this point. Please uh, do not try to find out the current in 4 ohm and 6 ohm resistances by converting the current source into a voltage source. Your answer will be wrong. The correct answer is the current in 4 ohm resistance will be minus 12 ampere flowing in this direction and the current in 6 ohm resistance will be 12 ampere flowing in this direction in 6 ohm resistance. Let me discuss another important point. The solution of problem number 2 will be correct if you try to solve the problem by converting the current source into voltage source. If you convert the current source into this voltage source and this current source into this voltage source and if you try to find out the solution of VTH and RTH, you will get the same values. There will be no problem.